Do I fight before him? Hi, welcome to the channel. This is a video series looking at the more confusing parts of Warhammer 40k rules. In this video, I'm going to explain and demystify the fight order in melee and who fights before whom. Diving straight in, there's lots of times when you're having a battle that loads of units on the board are in melee and picking which one to fight first and who fights next is actually quite confusing. So firstly, when deciding who gets to fight, you split all the units that are in melee into three different categories. You have the fight first category. That's any unit affected by the fight first rule. You have fight normally, just every standard unit. And then you have fight last. And that's units that are affected by a fighting ability from the opposing army. So after dividing all units up into the bands, and I'll come on to that in more detail soon, essentially you just pick the top band, which is fight first, and you resolve all the melee in there. And then you work your way down the bands until everyone has fought. There are some extra specifics that you always alternate in fighting. And in the fight first group, the player whose turn it is goes first. In the normal group, the player whose turn it isn't goes first. And finally, the fight last group is the player whose turn it is that goes first. So if you understand the bandings, you understand who goes first, and then you just alternate. Since every unit starts off with the standard fight normally rule, let's look at how that can be changed to fight first or fight last. The obvious example to fight first is if you've charged. You can also have a fight first ability. So for instance, the Tyranid High Fleet Kraken Warlord trait one step ahead has a fight first ability. Fight last is always triggered on units when an ability is applied to them, such as the Space Marine Judica with his Temper Mortis rule, but there's still yet more complexity. If someone is fight first and also fight last, so for instance you've charged and the Judica then uses special ability to make you fight last, that would make you a fight normally. They essentially cancel each other out. So now everyone's in the bandings because you've worked out which ones have been modified. You know who starts first and to alternate and then you just work your way through all the melee. You may have heard about the ability to interrupt in melee and this is the counter offense stratagem for 2 CP. And what this does for the chosen unit is to apply a fight next ability. You can only use this stratagem on units that are either fight first or fight normally. It's a good stratagem to use against an enemy who's done a lot of charging, in which case all their units are fight first, but all yours are fight normally. They'd be resolving all their attacks first. There's no alternating because you have no fight first units. Let's have a look at an example. I've set up this fight phase example in the Space Marines turn, and the Blade Guard charges in, and the Terminator charges in. It's now to think about the modifiers. The Blade Guard is fight first because he charged. The Terminator is fight first because he charged. This unit here fights normal because they were already engaged from a previous turn. There are some extra special modifiers. The Tyranid Warlord has the special trait which makes him fight first. And the Judica selects the Gene Stealers to be fights last. So dividing all these units up into the three bands, you see that the Terminator, Blade Guard, and the Swarm Lord are all fights first. The Warrior and Assault Incessors are fight normal, and the Gene Stealers are fight last. So from all the fights first units, the Space Marines player chooses first. He can choose either the Blade Guard or his Terminator to go first. Even though the Warlord here has a fight first ability, he's still in the alternating queue to decide who goes. So in this example here, I would resolve the Terminator's fight first. The Swarm Lord can hit back. Then alternating, the Terminator player has no more units to fight first, so it's back to the Space Marine and the Blade Guard would fight. By doing it this way, he ensures that both his units are fighting first in the battle phase. If he'd done it the other way around and fought with the Blade Guard first, then it would be the Tyranid's choice, and he does have an eligible unit, and he could have used the Swarm Lord to hit first. And it's the fights normally banned, and the only people we've got there are the Assault Incessors, they will fight. And then when we look at the fights last banned, we've got the Gene Stealers, but they've already fought because of this battle here, so they would have had to hit back. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful and if you have any other ideas for things I should cover. And see you again soon. Bye.